How many miles do you think we lost? I don't know. It must have been hundreds. Really? Whoa, a tortoise! Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you see that? Nice one, Chris. <laughs> it's a good thing I had my helmet on. It protects my head like armor. <laughs> we both have armor. <laughs> hey, buddy, if you don't stick your head out of your shell, you're going to miss Sabu. Let's call him! Zaboomafoo! Zabu! There he is! Leap on in here, buddy! Whoa! A 20-footer! <laughs> Hi, Zabu! Whoa! How about a snack, Zabu? He's not talking, but I know just the thing for a hungry lemur. Walnuts! They come with their own armor. The shell protects the nut inside. Just like your helmet, Chris. It protects the nut inside, too. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Martin. <laughs> Sabu, I've got a nut for you. You want it, Sabu? There you go. Atta boy. Give me Sabu Mafu! I meant to do that. Tortoise? I need a shell like yours to protect me, because I keep bumping into things. Brothers! Yes, Abu. You know what? I need a shell like the tortoise to protect me when I bump into things. Yeah, shells are great armor. Armor? Armor's for protection. Woohoo! With armor, I could leap anywhere! <laughs> yeah, I could leap high, I could leap low, I could leap anywhere I want to go! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Zabu? Hey, Zabu. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough day. Why, Zab? Why? Because I keep getting hurt. Like when I sat on that creature before. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? OK, he had two eyes and long whiskers on his nose. <laughs> long, prickly spikes all over his body. And then I found out I was sitting on his prickly friend. Two prickly, whiskered creatures. Do you know who they are? All right, prickly all over, huh? Sounds like quills. Yeah, it sounds like a creature you don't want to sit on. <laughs> African crested porcupines. And Quill Seeker, the mystery animals are here. These guys are incredible looking. Check it out. Take a close look at the porcupine's face. He has really small eyes and big nose and ears. You don't want to get on the prickly side of these guys. But they're prickly all over. <laughs> hey there, porcupine. Welcome to Animal Junction. What amazing creatures, huh? Yeah. These guys are called African crested porcupines because of that amazing crest on the top of their heads. It's like a special haircut called a mohawk. 
Remember those haircuts? Okay, you asked for it. Hey, that's what I'll call you, Mo and Hawk. <laughs> now take it easy with those quills. Wow, look at his nose go. He's sniffing around the snack machine. I wonder if he's hungry. Hey, Martin, what do you guys smell? Aha! Apples! Woo! Got it! Watch how fast a porcupine can eat this apple. Here you go, buddy. Look at how fast that jaw moves. Choo, choo, choo. He's hypercharged. Look at us go. What eaters? I can't believe my mind. Hey, look who else is here. It's Capybara, and he wants an apple too. <laughs> wow, you've got a face almost like Capybara. Yeah, in fact, you and Cappy look a lot alike. Except for all the quills. <laughs> exactly, Zabu. The Capybara and the Porcupine look alike because they're both rodents. The Capybara is the biggest rodent of all, and he doesn't have any quills like another cousin of his, the North American Porcupine, who eats bark from trees. People who live in North America are used to thinking of porcupines as tree creatures, but African Crested Porcupines are most comfortable on the ground. And also, there's a difference between these quills and the quills of the North American Porcupine. Each one of her 30,000 hairs are hollow. Hollow like this straw <laughs> so they don't weigh so much. Well, the African crested porcupine's quills are longer and filled with stuff that's kind of like sponge toffee. Except sponge toffee is a lot better to eat than porcupine quills. The spongy material keeps the quills stiff, but also keeps them light at the same time. And there's something else amazing about these quills. See those special quills in the center of his tail? The ones that are darker and hollow? Those are the rattling quills. When a porcupine shakes those quills, he's saying, don't come too close. Kind of like a rattlesnake shaking her tail. Now let's imagine that I'm a lion, okay? If I wanted to jump on one of these porcupines, you're now gonna see how they use their quills. Okay, so I'm a lion and I jump. Whoa! Listen to that rattle. He's a real racer, wow! Whoa, he's practicing like you would against a real predator. Come on back. Oh, look at him go, whoa. He's fast and quick, look at that. He's always keeping his quills towards me. And it's those tail quills that do the rattling right in there. You see those quills and he, he spreads them out so that nobody will get near him. Or if they do, he backs up and puts his quills in your face. That's <laughs> gonna hurt. You are so lucky to have that Mungatsika armor, Mo. Hey, Martin. Yes, I. Uh? You know what? I wish I was more like Mo and Hawk. And I wish I had some of that armor stuff to protect me, too. But you do, Zabu. All creatures have coverings that protect mm. their body. Some have shells, like a ram's head snail. She can go back into her shell for protection. And look at her babies. When they hatch, they already have shells on their backs. And then... There's the crocodile. Her skin is incredibly tough because it's made up of scales, not to mention her long, sharp teeth. She is one tough creature, and there aren't many creatures who would want to mess with her. Don't forget about birds. Feathers could be thought of as armor, like a duck's or a penguin's. Their feathers keep them warm and dry, armor for cold water. And some, like you, have fur. Take the polar bear. Her fur protects her from the cold, just like our warm clothes in the winter. But I want something stronger and harder, so I don't hurt myself anymore. Like rollerblade gear? Yeah, or well, like your suit of armor. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Nothing can get me now. Mmm, <laughs> banana cream. Yeah. That's it? That's the armor I want? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Without the pie. You just have to take some measurements? Yeah. Well, let's see how big your head is there. Well, big as a baseball. So, now your arm. Now let me see your belly there. Yeah, you're pretty bookie, Zabu. Yeah. Now hold still, we got your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Three inches, Mark. Three inches. All right, well, we have the measurements. Now let's get to the armor. To the armor? Wow. Wow. All right, 
Thanks, Ob. <laughs> wow, look at me now. <laughs> Hey, I didn't get hurt. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, excuse me. Whoa! Manga Tsika, I can bump into things and it won't hurt. My armor is hard. <laughs> Armor's great, Zabu, but it can slow you down. How slow would you walk if you had a tortoise shell on your back? And a horseshoe crab has great armor that hasn't changed in millions of years. And after all that time, the crab is still one slow mover. Oh, Toph, you like my armor? Hmm? They're a little nervous, Abu. They're not sure what's going on. What they think mean? your armor's kind of weird and noisy. <laughs> huh. Oh, but it's still me, Zabu. Hey, who have a hava? Hey, who have a hava? I'm still Zabu under all of this armor. Oh, hey, who have a hover? Hey, who have a hover? I'm still Zabu under all of this armor. Rain coming, yay! Hmm? Uh oh. I maybe accidentally did my special Madagascar rain dance. Oh. Hmm? Hey, hey, guys. Uh, this is, something's happening. Huh? What's this red stuff? Oh. I get... Move! What's going on, brothers? Sabu's armor rusted in the rain. He's immobilized. We've got to help him get out. <laughs> See, Sabu, this is what happens when iron oxidizes. Water makes it happen fast, and it's called rust. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Oh, ah. Phew, that feels better. Thanks, guys. Right. Now, can you make me another armor that won't get rusty this time? And it needs to be more bendy and uh, softer and not so noisy. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. That's everything. <laughs> well, that's a tough one, Zob. Let's think of what other types of armor creatures have. How about bat? Bat is great armor against cold water. Sea lions have double layer protection, fat and fur. And a manatee has lots and lots of blubbery fat to keep him warm. If it wasn't for fat, a beluga whale couldn't survive in freezing water. I don't think I can swing from trees with blubbery arm. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 armor. Uh, 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 Looks like a big sneeze uh, coming on. Uh, Look out for the spray! Uh, uh, Shoot! Ah! <laughs> Mud can be armor, too! An elephant uses it, and a rhino loves rolling around in gooey mud. It protects her from insect bites. Water buffalo have a great time rolling in mud, too. And there's a big rodent we all know who digs the feeling of mud on her fur. Right, Cappy? Brothers, Todd lost some quills. Well, Zob, sometimes porcupine quills fall off, just like hair falls off, because that's what quills really are, specially modified porcupine hair. Angatsika, brothers, let's make some prickly stick kind of armor, porcupine armor. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of quills. You want to know a great place to find a lot of quills? Yeah. Over there. Hmm? Where? Over here, Zob, in the cave. There are always lots of porcupine quills in a porcupine den. So this is the porcupine den? Yeah, porcupine dens can be in rock crevices, other creatures' abandoned holes, or a cave. In a den, you'll find lots of porcupine quills. A porcupine loses quills to make room for new ones that are growing. So he loses quills, but he's always prickly. Whoa, Zabu! <laughs> I've got quills all over me, Martin. Oh, yeah. wow, you should, woo, <laughs> talk about armor. Well, thanks, Mo. Thanks, Hawk. I'm feeling porcupine-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel African Crescent Porcupine-ish. How about you? Porcupine-ish. I feel porcupine-ish. <laughs> porcupine-ish. I'm a pointy-haired prickler, shuffling all around. Crested, porcupine-ish. Wow, nothing can hurt me now. <laughs> that reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 
When I got hit by a snowball. Oof. Since its little sister's got goober, then noggin drill, and sigh. Hey, who turned out the lies? So I said, come on, everybody. Let's hide behind the rocks. Oh, great idea. Hey, I'm wet and I'm cold. Yeah, and they're getting us good, Sabu. What do we do now, huh? Anybody got a, any ideas? Huh? Then my mind got a mungit seeker idea. Let's hide behind baby Zabumafuasaurus. His skin is so thick, snowballs won't bother him. He'll protect us. Come on, hide everybody. Ah, can't get me now. Oh, on the western front. A safe little drill. Oh, can't hit me. So we were safe behind baby Zabumafuasaurus. The end. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, oh no. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, uh, ow! Well, every time I try to leap, I get myself with a quill. Oh, brothers, we have a problem. Yeah, a leaping lemur who can't <laughs> leap? That is a problem. You know what, guys? What's up? <laughs> uh, phew, could you? Sure. Yeah, thanks. From now on, my armor's gonna be my eyes, my ears, and my brain. I'm gonna use them to stay out of trouble. Hmm. That's a great way of putting it. Sometimes staying out of trouble is the best armor. <laughs> Mo says it's time to go back to living free and in the wild. Bye, Mo. Bye, Hawk. Two Mangatsika African crested porcupines. <laughs> Incoming duck! It's not a duck. It's Sticky Feet the Peregrine Falcon. Hey, Sticky Feet. Hop on, buddy. Hop on. This raptor handling glove protects my arm from those sharp, powerful talons. Mm -hmm. And it was those talons that brought the message from the animal helpers. Hi, Crap Brothers. Hi, Sabu. Yesterday, the animal helpers and I were playing Frisbee when the Frisbee landed near a tree with a robin's nest in it. Baby birds start out in an egg. The eggshell keeps them safe until they're ready to hatch. That's what I call great armor. Not all birds lay their eggs in trees. Some lay theirs in hidden places right on the ground. Like a quail, her eggs aren't blue like robins. They're brown with speckles. That makes it hard for predators to see them. So we always watch where we're walking, because we wouldn't want to step on a bird's nest. Amy is so, so great to all creatures. You know, Chris, I was thinking. I think what? you were thinking what I was thinking. Sounds like a trip to me. To the closet! <laughs> They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Oh, but all the stuff's gonna fall on us. And you know how that feels. Don't worry, Chris. I found the way. Nothing. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Let's they're go. coming from the closet and <laughs> they're headed me. out the door. See you later, Zob. Hey, Martin, you coming? <laughs> a jackal and elephant and we are in Africa. And it's out here on the African savanna that the African crested porcupine uses his sharp quills as a defense. But you know, when you look around, you start to realize that of all the animals out here, very few have any armor at all. They might not have armor you can see, like porcupine quills, but they must have something to help them survive in the wilderness. So the question is, how do these unarmored animals survive? The answer is the three Fs. The three Fs? I thought that was for staying warm in the winter. No, that's the four Fs. This the is the three, three Fs. Fs. Fast feet, flight, formidable size and strength. Fast feet is what a lot of creatures depend on to stay a step ahead of predators. Let's see how fast we can get our feet moving. Okay, feet, don't let me down. Keep up with zebra feet. We gotta get going faster, faster. I'm kicking into high gear. Yeah, this is great, but we gotta go faster even. To be a fast creature of flight, you have to run like the wind. Whoa, my fast feet are getting ahead of me. <laughs> I can't keep up with mine either. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you okay? I think so. Well. I guess we're not one of them, but there are a lot of creatures who know how to handle their fast feet. And there are a lot of creatures who know how to handle their wings. And that brings us to the next F, flight. 
You know how birds fly to get away from danger, right? Well, to do that, they have to be light, and that's why they don't have armor. But they do have flight distance. Flight distance is how close a bird lets a predator get before he says, hey, that's close enough. I'm out of here. Let's see the flight distance of the hornbill. Hey, they let you get pretty close. Closer. Closer. Up, oh, that's enough for one. And two, they're both out of here. Now, it's on to the third F. Formidable size and strength. And nobody does that bigger or better than a herd of elephants. Not many creatures want to mess with an elephant. In fact, the only creatures elephants worry about are people and sometimes lions. OK, so we don't have the size and strength of an elephant. We can't fly like a bird, and we're really not that fast. So how do we protect ourselves out here on the African savanna without armor? Piece of cake! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> With our chief, of course. Good thinking, bro. Plus, it's the fastest way for us humans to head back to Animal Junction. <laughs> I wonder what Zabu's up to now. Let's check it out. Please? Do it again. Well, come on, do it again. A three-banded armadillo. Please, do it again. Do what again, Zap? Well, roll up into a super ball. Yeah, just like that. Whoa. An armadillo rolls up into a ball for protection from predators. And look at what a great armor this is. Manga, so you can talk about hard. Yeah, you can't get at her in there. Especially because the tailpiece and the top of the head fit together like a puzzle, oh, completing yeah. the ball of armor. And you know what else? An armadillo doesn't have fat on her belly. It's on her back. That helps her roll into a really tight ball. Oh. Hmm. You want to see what else she can do? Armadillo on the move. Skittle around on the tips of your fingers and toes. Yeah! Oh yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it. With such long claws, you have to run. On the tips of your nails. Even with all this armor weighing her down, she's still incredibly fast. <laughs> <laughs> and despite the heavy armor, an armadillo can still swim. This is how she does it. She gulps in a lot of air. This inflates her stomach, kind of like a balloon, to twice its normal size. That helps her float and swim. Now the back of an armadillo is made up of these bony plates called scutes. But on her belly, you can see that the armadillo has some hair. And look at that twitchy little nose. Uh, my mind thinks that lemurs weren't made for rolling up in the ball. Lemurs were made for leaping. Thinking of balls, that reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 leap. And then I saw something that made me not believe my mind. Baby Zabumafuasaurus was throwing something up and down with his mouth. And that something was Psy. I love playing ball. Up spin down. Up throwing and down. <laughs> Baby Zabumafuasaurus, that's not a ball, that's Psy. Stop. Oh, what? Oh, oh, no. My ball. My no, no, ball wait, is not oh. Someone I help me stop ball. baby Zabumafuasaurus. He thinks size a ball and he might pop him. Uh, no, no, my God. Guys, hold on. Whoa, 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 Oh, uh, baby, so boo boo fools for us. I am not a ball. I'm a song. Sorry, sorry. The end. Armored <laughs> creatures are great creatures. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah. See you later. Well, guess 
I'll be going home too. Hey, my mind just got an idea. I'll go home wearing my own armor. <laughs> armor? I thought he was done with arm. Yeah, I thought he was gonna use his eyes, brains, and ears to stay out of trouble. Oh. Uh-oh. Zabu forgot to use the door again. <laughs> no, I didn't. Sometimes I just like to wear armor and walk through walls. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Zabu. Hi, my name is Tom, and this is my dog, Grace. He loves to chase me. Yeah.